Hi guys, in the previous video I showed you how to graph a mean in Excel. What I want to do today is address the standard deviation that we've been talking about and how we use it and why it's important. So we use standard deviation to show the variation in the data set, how much the data moves away from the mean, either above the mean or below the mean. So for this first example here, the breeding pair 1 produced 6 pups for the first 3 years and then no pups for the next 3 years. So there's quite a bit of variation away from that mean of 3. Now for this data, it's not such of a problem because we can look at the graph and see immediately that breeding pair 3 are the best producers. They're the most consistent, they produce the most. But what if we get an example like this where each set of breeding pairs is producing a mean of three pups. This is a problem if I'm a buyer and I want to buy a breeding pair to produce the most pups that I can sell and make a fortune from. So this is where the standard deviation comes in. So we calculate the standard deviation which shows us that variation within the data set, how much away from the mean that data is. So for an example like this where we get 6 for the first 3 years and then 0 for the next 3 years, we have a high standard deviation. Whereas with this group here, breeding pair 4, because they're consistent producers, they produce 3 every year, their standard deviation is 0. And ideally, we want a very small standard deviation or a zero standard deviation, which indicates that our data is very reliable. So how to show that on a graph? Well, it's very easy. What we can do is we can use the standard deviation as an error bar on our columns, which will then show us from this graph, if I was just presented with this graph, I would be able to pick which were the best ones to buy. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First step is, once you've got your graph, is to go to the columns and double click. This will bring up a window that looks like this. You then go to error bars. And we're going to click on both because the standard deviation is both above and below the mean. So we had our example with 6, but a mean of 0. So that's above the mean, but then in the last three years they produced 0, which is below the mean. So we want to show those both. Now we're setting the value, so we're going to hit custom because it's different for each group and we've already calculated that. So we're going to specify the value. Now what we can do is you can immediately go across and click and drag that across or with this button here, so long as you get rid of this one, you can go to that which minimizes that and again same thing, click and drag go back and make that window big again. So now we've said positive error is this above the mean, negative error is this below the mean. So we've stipulated that. So we're good with that. Now we want to put a cap on it. So we can do that and we click OK. This changes our graph to show the standard deviation as an error bar. So now if I'm presented with this graph, and I'll just make it a little bit bigger, I can look at this and go, which breeding pair do I want? They all produce an average of three, but which ones are the most reliable at producing an average of three? And the answer for that is four because the standard deviation is nil. The next best choice would be breeding pair two. They produce an average of 3, but they have a much lower standard deviation, and that is 1.10. The worst ones to pick would be breeding pair 1, because they've got a large standard error, or a large standard deviation, which means there's a lot of variation away from that mean, so they're not reliable ones at all. So this is why we do standard deviation. It's really important when doing data that involves a mean to show that variation within the data set. So I hope that helps you for your investigations and as per always, you can always email me.